Welcome back to AWE TV. With me is Patrick O'Shaughnessy. You are the CTO of AWE. You are the principal of Pat's Reality. Um, I want to get your, your feel for how, how AWE 2016 has, has changed from 2015. Okay. I mean, obviously it's bigger this year, yeah. which is exciting. Very big. Maybe. Twice the size? Uh, I think, yeah, it's like maybe a third bigger in terms okay. of attendance. So like from three, close to three to four okay. this year, 4,000. And uh, also it's just m more mature, like what I'm seeing, the, the, obviously the showroom floor is much bigger yeah. and um, the products that we're seeing are, have had a year to mature and the people have done a lot with that year. Yeah. So. Hardware is advanced, yeah. uh, obviously software. Yeah. Um, more use cases, where I think we're seeing some industries kind of come out of the woodwork and showing what they're working on, out of yeah, like yeah. an R&D phase, more yeah. towards a business, uh, yeah, something it's, to sell. It's also exciting to see some of the ancillary. I mean, I haven't even had a chance to take in the full floor yet, sure. but like I just, you know, I'm seeing like peripherals for haptic feedback, right. like the sub pack I just tried with like the bass responding to the sound in your headphones and, yeah. you know, you can see some applications for AR gaming and VR gaming yeah. for that type of thing. Hand tracking, and, a little and, more yeah, there. I've seen like uh, some really interesting devices for hand tracking in VR. Uh -huh. um, and um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. More companies, it's uh, probably maturity along with that stability and in, in the things that we're seeing at these booths, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, and it's really exciting to see, like for instance, ODG with you know, finally pushing the envelope on the field of view. The field of view. And their glasses. Uh, they have two different versions. They have, I think, the, the standard uh, one that they show at conferences, but they have the new version with the field of view. Uh, What's yeah. the, the model number? I don't know. It's, uh, I, I don't know the model number. It's, I think it's, they're calling it like the high field of view. High field of view. High fidelity. Kind of like a mixed reality application also. They've got it set up with an augmented uh, reality uh, yeah. marker base, and then yeah. it will recognize objects in this kind of ring that they've set up. Yeah. Um, so it'll jump to certain areas. Um, very cool to see the, how, how these things are coming together and, and not just like individual pieces and individual uh, type of application, but you see more of like a use case, like a final scenario, how an end company would use this piece um, piece together, right? It's a, it's a whole solution yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm seeing, um, like, uh, I haven't seen all, all the so far yet, but I was looking at APX, for instance, is, is weaving together all the different smart glass vendors. Okay, um, we'll be talking is, to them later. Yeah, so that, that was interesting to see um, their so software stack being maturing. Um, yeah, and I'm, I mean, honestly, right now, uh, where I'm at <laughs> at the show is I'm just really excited okay. to see everything else <laughs> that I haven't seen. Um, uh, yeah, this is this is the this is the yeah. candy store, right? Yeah, You're exactly. kind of just checking everything out. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's the first day. Uh, it's the first couple hours of the show. Um, yeah, and it's really exciting. Uh, uh, Patch reality. That's that's your thing. Yeah. Um, how is that going? More more business in, in smart glasses. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, you see Hololens here. Um, here we go. Started developing for that. Got into the Wave One developer uh, program. Lucky you. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so I've got some clients that are doing some early prototyping with that. It's exciting. And um, it's, to be honest, uh, this year, getting the HoloLens, um, it's, it's really the, f the first device I think I've used. Um, you know, I've been doing AR now for over seven years. Mm -hmm. It's the first device that I think put, brings everything together into one package you can fit on your head. Right. Um, that does amazing tracking. And that's the big thing about it is the tracking is rock solid. Uh, the field of view, of course, is a little limited. Sure. Um, people but, know about that. That's but, no surprise. You know, like, it's like they've drawn a line in the sand. It's like what I've been saying. It's like it, it kind of like said, all right, so if you're going to do, you know, a, an AR device that's yeah. on your head, you know, this, you have to meet, you, meet yeah, these this standards. Is, yeah, this is, what, this is what it should be. You know, it, it really is. It, it, and uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to try it, but uh, no. Um, I, I welcome this. I'll, I'll show you after. Uh, cool. Or you can do it live. It's up to you. But um, no, it, I mean, you can't really can't really understand it until you've experienced it. Because I mean, you put a hologram. What Microsoft coined the phrase hologram. I mean, it's not a new phrase, but sure. that's what they call their augmented ob objects, uh -huh. their virtual objects. When you put a hologram in the space, it stays in. It stays where you put it. It sticks. You can walk around it. You can you can walk right up to it, and it, you don't see that jitter that you see sometimes in you know some of the the you know 
It doesn't get sloshy. Base. It doesn't slosh. It's no. rock solid. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, we'll have to try so this that's out. That's what's exciting about that. And, you know. um, can't wait to get Microsoft here at AWE. Yes. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm, I'm surprised. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> where are you, Microsoft? <laughs> where are you? This is the call. <laughs> Um, so maybe next year, speaking yeah. of that, what's, what do you expect to see next year? I mean, like so much has come together yeah. um, in terms of being what the, the products, services, yeah. I mean, this, maybe another rev of H, all HMDs. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to, I just saw uh, Ralph Osterhout's uh, keynote um, mm -hmm. and he was, he was kind of laying out their uh, roadmap a little bit. Very cool. Um, and it was really, I mean, basically consumer CES January and be able to get a four ounce high wide field field of view uh device. it'll weigh four ounces we're four ounces okay that sounds like a game changer that is a game changer yeah. and so and then you know he didn't I, I, I don't remember from the uh from what he was saying what their exact roadmap is for like being able to clip on thing clip on devices to the mainframe so that you can uh you know add things like um depth sensing okay. and, and or swap and it stereo out. cameras or other peripherals. Gotcha. Um, so I think, yeah, I'm really looking forward. I'm, I'm always, I mean, for me, I'm really always looking forward to the next year's <laughs> rev, uh, rev of, yeah. of eyewear because that's where my heart's at. It's where I've always been seeing Your, your room must just be full of, you know, <laughs> shelves of old hardware. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so yeah. That, that'll be cool. Um, I mean, um, I hope to see it. Like, I think you're right. This is this is this is the baseline everyone has to meet yeah. in order to play in the field. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and I, th I think VR also continue to mature. I mean, we haven't talked about VR yet at the show, but there's a whole you know, oh. whole section, a whole half of the show is devoted to VR yeah. this year, which is also exciting. Um, I mean, personally, in my heart's in, with AR, and there's going to be a whole AR VR debate, which I think will be right. even more heated than last, last year. It got pretty heated. <laughs> Right. Uh, but I think this year may actually even be more heated because we, I think this year we're finally seeing in in sort of the Oculus and Vive and HoloLens, those are kind of the cream of the crop right. of what you can get in their respective industries. And, yeah. and I can say personally, you know, I've, I've used VR a bit, uh, but I have not, I, I've used it for, uh, on the hour of, you know, 45 minutes at a time, okay. 30 minutes at a time, whereas I can put an, I can put a HoloLens in and use it for four hours straight. Oh, and that, it's awesome. Really? You yeah. don't feel fatigued? Don't you feel can fatigued, continue working? Yeah. Don't feel nauseous? You know, yeah. Sure. So I think I think the VR folks are, uh, while they, they, you know, they got the high-end displays, the high field of view. Um, it, it's got a lot of buzz right it's now. Got a lot of buzz, and, and you can do things with VR, obviously you can't do with VR. I think yeah. they have they have a high bar to set to, to make it so that you don't get sick when you use it for a long time. Oh, absolutely. That and, and there's a lot of talk about content. What are we going to do with this? Yeah. There, it's very limited. It's yeah. it's on. Five minutes, great. I can take it off and get back. Which, honestly, for the Hollands, that's true, too. There's like seven apps you can get sure. right now. But, you know. Sure, but I think, here we go, we're having and a debate you already. Get, you, can't even get, you can't even get it, obviously. You, you have to be a developer to get it right, right now. But like with yeah. this, with the, with the see-through, the pass-through, I can, I mean, I have the, 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 the all of reality to play with. That's my yeah. playing field, and I can yeah. do much more with that rather than close it off, yeah. drop a curtain, and you have yeah. to provide content to me. Right, exactly. So. And, 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 you know, going back to Ralph, again, I haven't seen too many of the presentations, so I'm going to keep falling back on the ones I have seen. Yeah. But uh, he was, you know, he's laying out in their roadmap that their, their display will have a, basically a flip-up, so it becomes a VR device. So yeah. I think eventually, maybe not next year, maybe not the year after that, I think you're going to see a conversion where you're going to have headsets that are both. Yeah. Vive there are talks about the, the camera being, I mean, right now you can see the kind of um, edge detection for the chaperone. Yeah. Um, they're going to put a camera on there, maybe to extend that or to actually see the real world. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they do that some of that with leap motion, where you have the, the RGB coming through okay. of your hands, which okay. can help, actually. I mean, yeah. I was playing with yeah. someone's Vive uh, the other day, and I dropped the controller, and I'm like, okay, that doesn't exist anymore yeah. in my world. Like, <laughs> it's, it's gone. Like, I felt like the two-year-old without object permanence, or maybe one-year-old without object permanence. Right, right, know, right. Like, <laughs> like, I, where is I can't it? see it anymore. Done. It's gone. You know, and I had to have somebody help me pick it up off the floor. Yeah. Uh, you don't have that problem with AR, obviously. So, um, 
let's con let's have let's have everyone else continue the, deba the debate for yeah, us. The debate for us. Yeah, because sure, yeah. this is this is interesting. We we keep going back yeah, and forth about yeah. AR and VR. There, I think you're right. Convergence, um, maybe the next rev of the Hololens. We'll have that drop down. ODG's already working yeah. on it. Very cool. Thanks for joining me. Sure. This is cool. Yeah. Um, again, my name is Mark Pizer, and with me was Patrick O'Shaughnessy. Thanks for joining us at AWE TV. Thank you for having me.